Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with the first episode of Tech I Like. Now this is my brand new show where, as you may have guessed from the title, I'm going to be taking a look at technology that I like. So it could be anything from computers, to cell phones, to cameras, to apps, whatever I really like. So let's just go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to be talking about the Nikon D3100. So this is the DSLR that I've been using for over a year now. I've got to say I really enjoy it. So not only does it have full 1080p capability, and of course you can use all the different Nikon lenses, but on top of that it's only 600 bucks. The D3100 is the camera that I use for pretty much all my videos, including this one. I find that even though it might not have all the high-end features of a professional level DSLR, that for what I need, it works absolutely great. With a 14 megapixel CMOS sensor, you get a lot of versatility. So not only in pictures, which are nice and sharp generally in pretty much most conditions, but on top of that you also get some really nice sharp video, especially if you get a nice wide aperture lens. Photos with the D3100 are really nice. As you guys can see here, there's a lot of really fine detail that you can pick up in some images. And on top of that, there's also plenty of room for some nice depth of field, depending on which lens you use. And of course, since it is a DSLR, you have full manual control over pretty much everything. So that includes manual focus, manual controls over ISO, shutter speed, aperture, you name it, you can pretty much handle it with the D3100. Something I personally like quite a bit is the size and weight. And while sure it might not have the full size grip and the really heavy construction of some of the more professional models, overall I like it quite a bit. It's not all that heavy so you can carry around and shoot with it all day long without any major you know, bodybuilding required. Of course it's not a perfect package. Some of the things I wished it included was better manual control over the exposure. It's pretty much all automatic and if you want to manually do anything with the exposure, for the most part it's just going to consist of hitting the exposure lock, kind of moving the camera around, it's not all really all that great. On top of that, for video people like myself, and yes, video people, it's, it's a term, look it up. Uh, some of the things I really wish it had was a flip out screen that's really nice for you know getting some different shots, angles and whatnot, and having a microphone input. However, both of those are available on the D5100. Overall, if you're looking for an entry level DSLR, I have no problems recommending the D3100. Of course, there are some good Canon models, such as the T2i and more notably the T3i. However, they're definitely quite a bit more expensive. And if you're not really looking to spend that kind of money on a camera, I think the D3100 is really, really nice. That's about it for this first episode of Tech I Like. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Let me know if you liked it or not. And if you have any comments, criticisms, you name it, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.